This is News Always On. Algeria has abandoned more than 13,000 African migrants in the Sahara Desert in the past 14 months, including pregnant women and children, stranding them without food or water and forcing them to walk. The figures are gathered by the Associated Press from the International Organization for Migration in Niger and Mali. The migrants' accounts are confirmed by multiple videos collected by the AP over months, which shows hundreds of people stumbling away from lines of trucks and buses, spreading wider and wider through the desert heading to Niger or Mali. It's a walk-or-die situation. Two migrants told the AP gender arms fire on the groups to force them to walk, and multiple videos seen by the AP showed armed uniformed men standing guard near the trucks. The lucky ones limp across the desolate 15-kilometer no-man's land from Point Zero in Algeria to Asamaka in Niger, a town of unsteady buildings sinking into drifts of sand. Others, disoriented and dehydrated, wandered for days before a United Nations rescue squad can find them. Untold numbers perish around, along the way. As said by Janet Kamara, who was pregnant at the time, women were lying dead. Men, other people got missing in the desert because they didn't know the way. Her body still aches from the dead baby she gave birth to during her trek and left behind in the Sahara, buried in a shallow grave in the molten sand. Now in Alet, Niger, she is reeling from the time she spent in what she calls the wilderness, sleeping in the sand. Algeria's mass expulsions have picked up since October year 2017 as the European Union renewed pressure on North African countries to deal with migrants headed north to Europe via the Mediterranean Sea or the barrier fences with Spain. Liberian Jew Dennis filmed his deportation with a cell phone he kept hidden on his body. It shows people crammed on the floor of an open truck vainly trying to shade their bodies from the sun and hide from the gen arms. He narrated every step of the way in a hushed voice. Algeria denies criticisms that it is committing rights abuses by abandoning migrants in the desert, calling the allegations a, quote, malicious campaign intended to inflame neighboring countries. A European Union spokesperson said the EU is aware of the expulsions, but said that they fall within the competence of sovereign countries, but needs to comply with international humanitarian law and principles. The Sahara is a swift killer that leaves little evidence behind. International Organization for Migration has estimated that for every migrant known to have died crossing the Mediterranean, as many are too lost in the desert potentially upwards of 30,000 people since the year 2014. In the desert because they didn't know the way. Jusqu'à de plein de deux heures, on nous jette là-bas, on est massé presque depuis que 8 heures du temps, 8 heures jusqu'à 19 heures, on masse sur le désert. On masse, il y en a, on est plus que nombre de 1000 personnes qui est dans le désert. On masse. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I am an undercover reporter. I'm reporting live from the desert between Algeria and uh, Niger. And as you can see, this is the convoy going over there. And it's a massive convo, massively deporting blacks to a no man's land where anything can happen. You got women and children into these into these trucks. There we were deported at midnight, midnight where you have no electricity, you don't even know where you were. It was like a wilderness, a complete wilderness. We had to walk up to six, seven hours where I felt my legs were even being cut out because I couldn't even make it anymore. So we had to sleep in the desert. And it was terrible. You could have snakes all around and all scorpions and all this kind of stuff. If you can see some of the um, some of the trucks, so loaded up, and even at my full back, as you can see what I'm sitting there. So there's so many over here too. And I'm going to get you another view from the back. I'm so sorry that my camera is uh, busting up. I think you can see the rest of the trucks. I decided to take this risk because it was risky, very, very risky. If I was caught, 
I'm going to get just like 10, 20 years in prison in Nigeria. And I took some of these videos and these uh, photos so that I can be able to expose the Nigerian authority to the international committee and we expose them to the war so the world can see what is going on in Nigeria. As you can see, the China flag is waving over there with the Red Cross flag. This is where they have more than 5,000 Africans, sub-Saharan being kept. But it's like, they should, they should know that you are dealing with human beings, you are not dealing with animals. Voilà, euh, on va à Samaka, à 230 km d'Arlit, dans nos habituelles euh, missions de sauvetage, de recherche et de sauvetage de migrants refoulés d'Algérie. Voilà, donc ils sont laissés à la frontière parce que l'Algérie euh, les a refoulés. Ce sont des migrants euh, refoulés. Euh, L'Algérie euh, les laisse au point zéro. Donc ils les laisse au point zéro à 15 km d'Assamaka et ces migrants ils marchent à pied pour venir à Assamaka. Donc quand ils viennent, ouais. quand les migrants viennent, ils sont généralement déversés à 15 km d'ici, à 15 km de Asamaka. Donc, et ils sont communément appelés des piétons. Donc généralement c'est des étrangers quoi, toutes nationalités confondues quoi. Donc de là-bas, ils viennent à pied jusqu'ici. Donc de là-bas, vous voyez la petite dune là-bas là, vous voyez les dunes là-bas là. Donc on les aperçoit, on les aperçoit de là-bas quoi. Parce que vraiment ils viennent à milliers. Cette fois-ci vraiment le refoulement que j'ai vu vraiment je n'ai jamais vu un refoulement comme ça. Parce que il y a beaucoup, il y a même des bébés, il, y a, il, 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 il refoule même des femmes enceintes, des femmes qui ont accouché une semaine après ou bien deux semaines après. Donc c'est vraiment catastrophique. For more on this, subscribe to our channel.